and it's driving me crazy. I think you're crazy. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Um, all right. Last but not least, y'all got the Grand Mall. The on the continuum. And that is full-blown narcissistic personality disorder. It's a freaking disorder. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Unrestrained self-love is this author's favorite simple definition of a narcissistic personality disorder. As with other personality, um, it's the unrestrained self-love. You know? Okay. As with other personality disorders, narcissistic pers uh, personality disorder individuals are generally unaware and oblivious to their psychological disorder. This is the Donald Trump. -ish. Selfish. I mean, they, they're, they're oblivious to their psychological disorder. Individuals diagnosed with MPD are considered pathologically selfish, self-absorbed, grandiose, and egotistic. They are motivated by a long-standing and insatiable desire for admiration, praise, and validation. The NPD's constant feed for affirmation, validation, and attention often wears on their partners, often wears their partners down, as there can never be enough compliments and affirmation to make them feel good enough. As metaphorical sponges, they are able to soak up praise and compliments, but because of their psychological porous, underdeveloped nature, they cannot hold on to them. NPDs are compelled to direct, correct, and continually remind others how to do things correctly. They tend to monopolize conversations while presenting themselves as the resident expert on many things, especially the subject at hand. They are adept at turning conversations around to what they know and their own related experiences. So, you talking about something that happened to you, the next thing you know, this, this person just turned it around and the conversation becomes about them and you just sitting there now bearing witness to the whole damn conversation they just took totally over. Okay. Um, they, uh, as self-proclaimed experts, they believe and behave as if they are morally and intellectually superior to others. They tend to turn conversations into either a lecture or presentation in which they are compelled to correct others while sharing their insight and accomplishments. NPDs are not shy about bragging about their supposed wealth and knowledge of their dramatic climb to success. Unbeknownst to them, their proclamations about greatness and success are not always grounded in reality. Donald Trump Narcissistic personality disorder, like the other two emotional manipulation personality disorders, is represented on the continuum of self as a plus five um, on that scale. This severe CSV is indicative of a self-orientated that is almost completely focused on the needs of oneself at the exclusion the exclusion of the other needs of needs of others. According to the author of the um, DSM, 1% of the population suffers from narcissistic personality disorder and 50 to 75% of them are men. Now, listen to that one more time because that is a very important statistic right there. 1% of the population suffers from it. That's that 1% that started this country. That's that 1% that left Britain and created this experiment that we call America. That 1% right now that is manipulating the poor mind worker to make his crazy self think that he has less in common with the average African-American black descendant of slaves then he got with this 1%. So he's 
his narcissism has controlled this person, these this group to the point that they're manipulating their ignorance because it's what they do. Again, this 1% of the population suffers from narcissistic personality and 50 to 75% of them are men. This is very key, uh, very key for me. Because what that, that 1% represents is the, re the, the, the represent the elite. That's what that represents. And I want y'all to feel that. Okay? Because individuals with a personality disorder tend to either deny or are oblivious to it, gathering data about MPD at its best is challenging. Since most statistics are compiled by, by self-report data, it is likely that the DSM statistics far underrepresent the actual presence of narcissistic personality disorder. According to the DSM, though, narcissistic personality disorder is categorized as an access to mental condition uh, disorder. The DSM utilizes the multi-actual assessment and diagnosis system to categorize all mental conditions. The access one category is reserved for clinical and developmental and learning disorders. Typical access disorder, access, access one disorder may include major depressive attention deficit disorder, schizophrenia, generalized anxiety disorder, addiction disorders, and many more, all of which are characterized by periods of illness and remission and are typically responsive to medical and or psychological treatment. Most mental health or mental illnesses disorders are classified as the AXIS-1 category. AXIS-2 disorders, on the other hand, include mental health disorders or mental illnesses that are long-standing, ongoing, persistent, and not typically amendable and recipient to treatment, receptive to treatment. These disorders typically take shape and start to appear in adolescence, persisting throughout the person's lifetime. So a common access to disorder include intellectual disabilities, i.e. developmental disabilities, and personality disorders, which include the three emotional manipulation personality disorders. It should be noted that to, re to receive a DSM diagnosis, a qualified di diagnostician using the required diagnostic protocol must match the client's symptoms and degree of patho patho pathology excuse me, blah, 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 to a specific number of criteria as listed in the DSM, IV, and TR. Only experienced, trained, and qualified mental health professionals can make actual diagnosis. In most cases, such clinicians are include psychiatrists, psychologists, and licensed and qualified master-level clinicians. According to the DSM, narcissistic a personality disorder is misunderstood as pervasive pattern of grandiose in fantasy or behavior, need for admiration, lack of empathy, beginning in childhood, and present a variety of contexts as indicated by five or more of the following. Has a sense of grandiose, um, is preoccupied with fantasies of unlimited success power, believes that he is special and unique and can only be understood by and should only associate with other special and high status uh, uh, people. Requires excessive attention and admiration. Has a sense of entitlement, unreasonable expectations of especially favorable treatment. You know, they don't even want to wait in line. You know, they just want to, they'll pop up to the, I mean, it's just, okay. It's inter, it's, is interpersonally exploitive, takes advantage of others to achieve their own ends like shutting down the government, lacks empathy, is willing to recognize or identify with the feelings and needs of others, like shutting down the government, it is often, is often envious of others or believes that others are envious of him or her, uh, Barack Obama, uh, Hillary Clinton, he's still obsessed with them, the election has been over now for almost two years and still 
talking about them as if they won, shows arrogance, haunting behaviors, or attitudes. Since narcissist personality disorder individuals carry a heavy unconscious burden of shame and deep feelings of inadequacy, they compensate through an obsession, power, and status. They are excessively proud and fixed on their own achievements and appearances. Their vanity, whether it is for their physical or personal attributes, often rises to the level of an obsession. As a result of their inflated self-appraisal and their subsequent need to show others their positive qualities and attributes, they are typically experienced as arrogant and conceited. Okay? Um, it's amazing to me because some people think that um, this is this is good. This is good behavior to have. Um, lastly, individuals diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorders are incapable of sustaining relationships that are mutual and reciprocal. They have limited capacity for empathy and sensitivity to others, especially when they feel competitive, uh, a competition, or threat. Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton. Additionally, Individuals with narcissistic personality disorder are generous to others only when a personal gain is enemy. Their strings-attached approach to relationships exemplifies their self-serving nature. Their selfish interpersonal exchanges are one-sided relationships, are experienced as aggravating and offensive to anyone except, of course, a codependent uh, or an individual with uh, illness. I guess, self-love deficit. As a direct result of their underdeveloped self-concept and a very low levels of self-esteem, which they are oblivious to, narcissistic personality disorders usually overreact to their mistakes or perceived flaws. They are acutely sensitive about making errors or the possibility that they may have be criticized or judged. Even when the comments are constructive or benign, they react as if someone told them that they were bad or stupid. They internalize the con constructive criticism as if the critic is purposely and maliciously trying to embarrass them or to prove to others that they are wrong or bad. The narcissist's fragile self-esteem simply cannot accommodate feeling mistaken or humiliated. This is the 1% of America, that one elite percent. They can't hear about you talking about racism. They can't even hear how you feel being a, subjugated by their supremacist ways, uh, the police force, how they brutalize us, how we when we can't take it no more, we just can't fight back. Then we become the uh, suspect again to their oppression. This it's insane. It's insanity warmed over. The 1%. And I want y'all to keep that in mind. So don't just look at my words. You know, keep focusing on that 1% that started this country. And look at this narcissism that's prevalent throughout the country. Look at the narcissistic personality that has grown out of the soil of this cesspool of mental illness. So it's not your fault. It's not your fault that you're in this condition, but it's definitely your responsibility to figure out where you fit on this continuum. They internalize the constructive criticism, again, as a critic is purposely saying that they are wrong or bad. The narcissist's fragile self-esteem simply cannot accommodate the feelings of being mistaken or humiliated. They counter almost instantaneously with anger or contempt for the judgmental person. Instead of processing the value of the critical feedback, they react smugly and angrily, sometimes even aggressively. Alternatively, they may shut down emotionally, sulk, and or have behaved with strong passive-aggressive behavior. Any perceived threat to a narcissist's self-esteem or self-worth is referred to as a narcissistic injury. Narcissistic personality disorder people often punish the perpetrators of their narcissistic injury, be they friends, loved ones, or family members. 
It is not that they intend to hurt a person who triggered their narcissistic injury. It, it is not that they intend to hurt a person who triggers their narcissistic injury. Rather, the aggravated anger, reflective indignation, and resentment that accompanies the narcissistic injury is more of a product of a very low self-esteem and, lo and loathing, self-loathing, of which they are largely unaware of. Narcissistic personality disorder, aggressive and incensed reaction to the narcissistic injury is considered narcissistic rage. Once enraged, the NPD is typically unable to stop or control their destructive behavior, i.e., um, everyday emotionally oppressed people trying to communicate in the ghetto with people. Uh, correcting somebody or saying something that may be for their best interest can get you shot. All right. Um, here we go. Once enraged, the NPD is typically unable to stop or control their destructive behavior. Because the narcissistic personality disorder individual is unaware and unable to take responsibility for their harmful reflection, they are quick to blame others for starting it. NPDs rarely apologize for their wrongdoings except when cornered an intimate game may result from this act of contrition. Full-blown narcissistic personality disorder experienced as pretentious and arrogant. They tend to brag, embellish, and proclaim their unique talents. As grandiose individuals who assert themselves as an expert in most matters, they believe that they behave as if they are morally and superiorly intellectual to others. Narcissistic personality disorder are compelled to remind others of their successful pursuit of glory and prestige. To maintain their distorted feelings of superiority, they are compelled to degrade, diminish, and discredit and the achievements of others. Barack Obama on Hillary Clinton, that's all I can see in my mind. To that end, they may even terminate a long-standing relationship if they feel threatened or hindered in their pursuit of recognition. As a result of their unreasonable expectations and overinflated egos, the narcissistic personality disorder believe they should automatically receive preferential treatment and automatic compliance with any request or reside or desire. So they think they should get automatic compliance. Any to any of their requests or desires, like R. Kelly. Right? Sound familiar? The and it, it crosses all color lines. See what I'm saying? All color lines. It's it's an already crossed them back and forth all around the world. Chinese everywhere. It's international. The entitled narcissistic personality disorder are the ones that cut <coughs> in a long line <coughs> or insist that they get a table at a restaurant immediately. Despite the annoyance of others who have been waiting equally as long. One NPD I knew took his disabled parents' handicapped parking permit and shamelessly used it for itself to obtain preferential parking permit. Now, how many of y'all in the community think that's okay? <coughs> how many of y'all in whatever community you think you live in you are able-bodied adult, and you go and take somebody's handicap sticker so you can park closer, and you don't think nothing wrong with that. That's why I said that narcissism sh stuff changes the pattern of your amygdala. It changes the pattern of your front, your brain. It changes you. It changes the recipient. 
that is being transgressed upon by these particular disordered individuals. I hope you got something out of that because I'm going to go ahead on now because it's something to ponder. It's 1% of the elite males that create this society are sociopaths and narcissistic personality disorder individuals. And until we want to really deal with that, the mental illness of that 1%, it's going to be rough. Yeah, that's a hard pill to swallow. All right, but I'm going to go. So if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you next time. Right, child, in the mental house. Bye-bye, y'all.